All right, Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our elders, which are the elders of GMS. I right, much love to you, brothers, on the four corners of the planet. All right, we're set up to push this truth to the elect, to wake up the elect brethren, the 144,000 and the one third of Israel. Okay, that's who's going to be preserving these last days. So right now, um, I want to do a quick story on this uh, this uh, flood that happened in the Philippines. I mean, I'm sure everybody's watched it, everybody's seen it, but um, that's judgment that's coming, man. Uh, uh, that part of the world has has been ravished. It has been has been devastated, and that's how the Most High visits. We know if you look at Noah, the Most High uses water to destroy people, man, to put judgment on people, as you may say. So before I play this video, I'm gonna read this verses for you guys. So lock here. this to you real quick this is the book of Psalms 29 and 10 and it says and it says the Lord sitteth upon the flood yea the Lord sitteth king forever the Lord will give strength unto his people the Lord will bless his people with peace all right, but the main point that I wanted to bring out is in the tenth verse where it says, "The Lord sitteth upon the flood; yea, the Lord sitteth, uh, sitteth king forever." So what does it say? Sitteth has power over, sits over, controls. The Most High controls the floods and when they happen, how they happen. Okay, so that was just the judgment we seen back in the days that the Most High uses that to 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 destroy people. All right, so here's the precept. This is the Book of Job, twelve and. 15. We'll start at 14. It says, Behold, he breaketh down. It says, Behold, he breaketh down, and it cannot and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man, and there can be no opening. Behold, he with he withholdeth the waters, and they dry up. Also he sendeth them, and they overtake the earth, or they overturn the earth. Overturned, that means flood, man. So the Most High let the waters go and they touched the Philippines. So let's read that again. It says, Behold, this is Job 12 and 14. It says, Behold, he breaketh down and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man and there be no opening. Behold, he withholdeth the waters and they dry up. That's why you have famines and droughts. You have droughts because the Most High withholds the water. That's another form of judgment. And then it says, Also, he sendeth them out and they overturn the earth with him is strength and wisdom and deceived and deceiver are his that's why it says the most high is to be feared so let's play this video for host of ac360s on the ground and talk Loban. he joins us now anderson you've seen firsthand the difficulties in getting this relief out uh, tell us what you're seeing it is a miserable, miserable situation here, and uh, it does not seem to be getting uh, better uh, day by day. We're now entering the fifth day uh, since the storm hit here in Takloban. Uh, and I can tell you just, I mean, we're at the airport now, or what's left of the airport. There are hundreds of people here who've been sitting all night, uh, just, they have nowhere else to go. And, and if you walk three blocks in that direction, you'll find people sleeping in makeshift huts basically are sleeping out in the exposed rain close to the bodies of their loved ones which nobody has picked up because there's nobody here to pick them up uh, you would expect perhaps to see maybe a feeding center that had been set up about five days after the storm we haven't seen that certainly not in this area some food is being brought to people here at the airport some water being distributed but it is very very difficult conditions for the people here on the ground uh, and, and it, it's not clear how much longer it can continue like this something has got to give there is hope that the airport uh, will at some point be opened by the US Marines to operate on a 24-hour basis that has not yet happened yet there was a lot of talk about that yesterday that has not occurred we were we've been here uh, all night no flights were coming in uh, once uh, night came uh, it is a, a very desperate situation among the most uh, among the, the most desperate I've seen uh, in covering disasters uh, over the last couple of years Jake 
Mr. Anderson, where are the relief workers and where are the people looking for help and, and, and how can they not be brought together? Well, uh, there, there's certainly a lot of people who would like help. I mean, I, as you know, I was out yesterday just walking neighborhoods nearby here. Uh, it's very hard to get a vehicle, so you just walk around uh, and found a, a handful of people right away. I mean, everybody we talked to has lost somebody and is literally searching for somebody. One woman searching for three of her children. Another woman has already found three of her children dead. She's looking for the other three. Her husband is dead. She pointed me to, to their bodies, but there's nobody helping. We did see a volunteer group of firemen who were out collecting bodies they had body bags they were putting people into uh, and taking them off in an ambulance uh, but that, that that's that's a drop in the bucket um, and as the question of you know where where is the bigger relief effort I, I'm not exactly clear it could be happening in some other place but this is the airport in, in Tacloban and if you'd think if you'd see it anywhere this would be the main staging ground there's certainly Philippine military uh, are on the ground here some trucks have gone out but you know we're I was in Japan uh, right after the tsunami there uh, two years ago, and you know, within a day or two, you had Japanese defense forces going out, carving up cities into grids, and going out on foot looking for for people, looking through, walking through the wreckage. We have not seen that here in any kind of large-scale operation. But Anderson, uh, with your vast expertise covering these types of disasters, what's your message for for U.S. or international policymakers whose job it is? Uh, to bring supplies and relief to the suffering people of the Philippines. Uh, from your vantage point, what do they need to know and what do they need to do? Well, certainly U.S. military personnel are here on the ground. There's a group of Marines here. They've set up operation. Uh, the Marines have, have checked out the airport, and I know that that is underway, and that cannot come uh, soon enough. But, uh, you know, as for who exactly is is in charge of, of the of the Philippine side of this operation. That That is not uh, really clear. I mean, we, I'm, I'm just surprised that I haven't, haven't, I expected on this day five, I thought I'd maybe gotten here very late, uh, that, that things would be well in hand. It does not seem like that. People are desperate. Uh, people do not have any place to, uh, for shelter. Uh, there is, it's very difficult for people to get food. Neighbors are helping. All right, so, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen seen some of these but uh we'll go to the next story to show uh that the most high is uh